front, there's been a lot of negative talk. The past couple of days about the farm share. But we think that apart from these negative things that are coming out, there's not a very positive development that are also coming. This is one of them. So, what we are mean, welcome and uh, we are open for any questions that are available. We want to show you what is actually involved. So, we'll just watch a small thing. Then, you can let me know on the side. I'm also welcome. Uh, to this is quite historic, it's the first time that uh, this is being done in the uh, country. And uh, we are, in this case, the first case, uh, you know, the patient who has history of chest pain that uh, his care is not taken as we did yesterday, he will end up with a severe heart attack and possibly spending his death. And uh, we'd like to show you the first uh, picture. what we did and uh, we injected uh, through a puncture in, uh, around the groin area. We were able to introduce this long catheter up the up and uh, um, yes, and it comes all the way into the uh, towards the vessels of the heart and we are able to inject this contrast and to see the, the, the vessels that supply blood to the heart. And to be able to identify them and define them properly to think to one abroad and which have a free flow. As you can see from there, this is a main vessel of the heart that applies the middle part of the heart and it comes from up there, as you can see. Then, going down, there's some kind of blockage there, as you can see. Very, very tight and we call it very critical. And this can cause a sudden uh, heart attack or even a sudden death. And so what we proceeded doing is once we are able to identify this is the main vessel, the causing vessel causing this problem, we then try to go in and introduce a device which is called but before that we will show you uh, uh, I have you that we want to identify the corporate box vessel. We try to introduce a, a, a wire okay, into that vessel and go through it until you come down and make sure that you are the way through the corporate vessel. And this will enable you to identify where to uh, deploy your device or your stent. The next one. Now, as you can see, this is the device through the narrow vessel uh, I show you earlier on. And that is where it is, uh, you, you deploy this device. It's like kind of scaffold or mesh. You go in there and then drop it there and then you inflate it. 
then it opens the narrowing that that type living is all there. Now look how like uh, some kind of uh, sausage or balloon inside there. Actually that is a fence and that has been uh, deployed there and uh, that opens the narrow. So this will allow blood to flow through the heart without causing a heart attack. That is it done now. If you see the, the difference between the first, uh, what is called uh, narrowing or tight and critical lesion, you see in the, uh, the, uh, in the first, yes. compared to this one where the total blood flow, there is no obstruction of blood flowing to the heart. So this patient that will be tested in is actually free. The, the vessels are now free and then the, the it's quite uh, uh, stable. The next morning, yes, this morning, he got out and he was walking about. And uh, he's not in ice density there, you need, he's not uh, on any ventilator. And he's walking around. So it's, it's, it's something you can do today. The next uh, morning, you get up and then you have an about. And that is the advantage of uh, social procedure. He went to probably this, this. There were two vessels actually that we did. We just want to show you the practical aspect of this one is quite uh, important. Uh, I would uh, now give a uh, to Dr. Carlos, who is the principal uh, intervention who uh, did this, and then my colleague also the head of the my Dr. Carlos, uh, we Okay, he said one of his and uh, Good morning, thank you for coming. 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 Good morning, this new, I mean, a very complex technique. It's a great relief to many people who see severe heart disease or coronary artery disease. It's very less aggressive in terms of the management. Due to the fact that you don't need to open the chest for open heart surgery because there are two vessels. And the patient has a much more rapid recovery than the patient has a much more rapid recovery than the patient has a much more rapid recovery than and then the whole medical cardiologist in the National Council of Okay. 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 It's a specific way. I Basically, if you have any questions or any clarification, we know it's very technical. <laughs> 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 but actually, it's a, it's a very life-saving procedure. And one other note is what you are doing is you are talking to the patient. He's aware of what is going on within the environment, and uh, it's a uh, of pain, and uh, you are starting with him after finish. And that is one good thing about it. It's just a local and it's easier to do things.